Hello guys, what's up? Um, I'm going to show you how to make 3D text from scratch. Now, a lot of people use filters or stuff like that, but I like to do it my way. It's just how I've always known it and that's how I started. Now, I did make this a while ago in 2009 and it's got uh, just over three quarters of a million views, I think. Just over 700,000 views, but it's time to update that to full HD for you guys and a better tutorial because that's when I was starting off so here we go what you want to do is go to file new and you get this box now for this we're gonna have 1280 width and height by 720 for this little box here choose pixels for your background choose white I'll give you a second to do that this is for beginners if you've done that that's fine let's carry on now for the background we're going to choose black now if your toolbox here on the left guys looks like this just click this little forward button here and you'll get this. This is how I work. So if you want to follow tutorials that I do, choose your little um, toolbox to be like that. If you click and hold on to a certain type of tool, you'll get pop-ups like this. Now choose the paint bucket. If you've got this gradient tool, click, hold and you get paint bucket. We're going to have black. Now that we've got black, all we want to do is get our text tool and with 3D text, Sometimes it's good to have um, a font where the P doesn't go below the other um, letters, like this. Um, true Butcher or whatever, <laughs> I've never heard of that. But the P goes below the M and the L, etc. So we're going to use Trojan, Trojan Pro or something, I don't know. Trojan Pro, thinking about condoms. What the <laughs> Right, we're going to use this. We're going to type white because it's a white text. Now, all we want to do is keep that just about a quarter of the way on the page because we can have a reflection. So what we want to do is right click on the text and go to rasterize type. Make sure you've um, increased the size of your text, which would be going by edit, free transform, and hold in a shift key and going up or down. But you have to hold the shift to keep it in perspective, okay? So now that we've got that, what we want to do is go to Edit, Transform, and Perspective. Now, Perspective won't show unless you right-click on a layer and go to um, Rasterize Type. Now, when you're in Perspective, you see these top corners here? If you go up here, click on it, and go up, it gives you the perspective from looking at it on the right side. Okay? So it's quite easy, and yeah, so go to Transform, Perspective, what we're going to do is we're going to start from the left top corner and go up. From the t top right corner, we're going to go down just a quarter of the way. Press enter, and that's what we've got. Now, with this text tool, what you want to do is hold Alt, ALT on the keyboard, and with your left arrow key, press left 11 times. That's how many I usually do, and that's how many you really need. So let's do that. Hold Alt and press the left arrow key 11 times. Make sure you clicked on the Move tool before doing this. Ready? Go. You got that, guys? Uh, that's great. Now, if you've done that correctly, you should have white copy 11 or whatever you've named. Yeah. So, with the top layer, click on the top layer. It should be already highlighted. Hold Shift. Okay, hold shift and click on the first cost copy, which is white copy. Okay, now right click and go to merge layers. You done that, guys? Great. Now click on the bottom layer, which is the original one, and just move it above. Okay, now this one here would be our 3D. If we move that, we lose it. Put it up, we got it. See what I mean? Now what we want to do is, on the top layer, we'll start with this one, just to give it a nice type of look. See, we've got 3D already, guys. Simple as that. Now, with the gradient overlay, I'm going to add a bevel and an emboss. And I'm going to click Contour. And we're going to go to Gloss Contour and choose this one here. See the two bumps, straight up bumps. And we're going to click Anti-Aliased. And we're going to use the size 
we can we can do any type of size we want but for this we'll do what should we do we'll do um that looks all right don't it soften it a bit just to get a bit you don't you don't want it too soft okay because then it will look like it's out of focus inner bevel what do we want inner bevel yeah we'll have inner bevel um now we've done that we'll keep that just like that now for the 3d see the 3d which is the white part we can we can work with that we can add a bevel and emboss we can add a contour we can add a gradient overlay now with the gradient overlay you we can have black and white we'll choose black and white and what we want to do is mess around with the opacity a bit so we just lower that put it higher you get you get you can can you see that we put it up a bit higher we get a nice little shadow okay i'm going to add i'm going to uh, mess around with the bevel and boss a bit i'm going to go to gloss contour add that on anti elias i like using this the depth we're going to change a bit we're going to increase it all the way to a thousand percent just how i like it and with the size we can see if you increase it all the way you can get and then lower it slightly you can get all these type of weird effects if we increase it just a bit like that and we can work with it right now I'm going to add a soften a bit now that we've softened it a bit see how it's starting to give a more natural look now with the um, with the 3d look done do you think it's all right we'll keep it like that for now guys okay right now what we want to do is we're while we're on this layer hold shift and click on the other layer just like that then right click merge layers see we've done that guys now what we want to do is right click on a layer duplicate it press ok and then we want to go to edit free transform flip vertical okay now once we've done that we'll go to our move tool and move it down simple as that see now what you want to do is go to once you've done that make sure it's aligned with the top with the bottom left part of the text see if you move it over it should snap into place if it don't just use your arrow keys to get it perfect now go to trans go to edit transform and go to skew now with skew you can click on the middle part of this and just lift it up to touch the rest of the text now what you can do is if you notice it actually goes when you lift up it goes past the bottom of the W so what we want to do is while we're doing this skewing we can move it down just ever so slightly and keep it within line now see we can get an even amount here go up on that one go down on a W a bit just like that go up slightly on this side there we go okay you see that guys simple as that a lot of people they would um they would usually just start doing random crap but <laughs> yeah we can keep it like that so once you've done that you can go to another text layer but if you want to get rid of the um the text at the bottom with the reflection we'll do that first go to the left on the toolbox and choose rubber go to your razor tool go to this little part here and choose size size you usually want it to be 
about three quarters bigger than the text. So see here, it's about just a quarter. Well, it's not a quarter, sorry, would I say? We can just, there we go, about half the size of the biggest text. And with that, you can work with it, um, creating your, yeah, creating your reflection, should I say. <coughs> now, with the hardness, we want it at zero, of course. And what we're going to do is, we're just going to rub out. I'm just going to move, see this layer here? Click it, hide it. It's at the bottom. We're just going to move that under so we can work with it easier. Now, what you want to do is rub out. Now, when you're rubbing out, start lower from this side. So if we start here, then we make our way up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay? Simple as that. Can you see how I've done that? Now, if I just decrease the size of that brush a bit. Increase it a bit more just to give it a... See, guys, if you rub it out, you can get that effect. Now... <coughs> on the layer, if we click hide, it will show the layer that we're on. Now, on this layer, we're going to lower the opacity down to 75%. Okay? And that's what I want to keep it at, just because I think it works. I always have my reflections at 75, but you can always change it. Uh, you can lower it a bit more if you think that it won't, it don't look much like a reflection. You can lower it, you can hide it. It's up to you. Um, if it don't look right, just change it to... We'll have it at 47%. Okay, we'll keep it like that, guys, just to, for the sake of some others thinking that it might not look well. Right, we'll create a new layer. Okay, so we have our two layers. This one, top one, is the top one. The second one is here. Now, while we're on the bottom layer, which is here, Go to this little box here and click it. It'll create a new layer above just the layer that we're on. If you want to make it easier for yourself, go to Edit. <coughs> I mean, go to Layer, go to New, and click Layer. But it's easier just to click that box and bam. Now we've got our new layer. With this layer, we're going to go to our Brush Tool. And we're going to go to Hardness and lower it down to 0, Size. That doesn't matter right now because we can change that. Um, what color should we use? We should use white, okay? Now for size, if you want to increase it a bit, I have it at 400. I usually use the keys for shortcuts like this, but you can change, do it the way you want. Now we're going to click right in the middle so we don't get rid of the fade. If we decrease it a bit, see like that. Now, if you notice, this brush tool, the the little dot that we just done, is above the bottom text, but below the top text. Now, now that we're on this, if we click this little eye here, it'll disappear. Click it again, it'll show. That's what layer we're on. Now, go to Edit, Free Transform, and from the top middle, we want to go down, squash it, just like that. Okay? Very easy. And then we're going to move it up, keep it there, just like that. See, it's very easy, isn't it? Now, while holding shift, just increase it by the top right corner. Now that we've done that, we can add some perspective to it. So go to Edit, 
transform perspective and with this just go down on the left a bit and then down on the right a bit now we'll just increase that a bit now move it over so it's more centered if you know what I mean okay if that don't look exactly right and it's too perspective to, um, to the right you can just increase it a bit more so it matches the text okay now once we're on this layer we can go to opacity and change it just down a bit hey see that guys we've already got our reflection there we are and we'll just press enter keep that there now if you notice on the top text if we click on it click it it'll disappear okay now what we want to do is <coughs> go to here and go to polygon lasso tool now what I usually do is on the top text from here start from here and go along here just to get rid of the leftover that we have from the layer so we click on the layer that we put the brain paint on press the delete button and that'll be fine press enter <coughs> oh get rid of that by clicking on it and there we go you have your text so that's the 3d um, type of look with the reflection very easy um, if you don't want to delete the back it's fine but I usually delete the back just because that's how I like it but usually it looks more realistic if you don't delete the back but I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you enjoyed the high definition and more accurate tutorial guys so take care if there's any questions you'd like to ask any help feel free to comment in the section below and I'll get back to you guys as much as I can so peace and subscribe for more tutorials coming in full HD take care guys